generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator where in the previous episode we were working on the temple and got to a 70% sorry 60% uh, mark which was pretty good indeed it's quite an intricate building and a lot of things to clean especially at different angles as well as you can see this figurehead here you pretty much have to attack it at every angle possible so we're working from the front to the left to the right we then have to go underneath it because obviously it curves round and there's a lot of that on on this map so it's making it quite a challenge but uh not a no, i would also say i wouldn't even say a welcome one actually but yeah it's an interesting map to uh if, if nothing else but either way in this episode we're going to finish off cleaning the thing so attacking the figurehead cleaning it from any angle that we possibly can. You can see there's bits here and there and on the side and there we go. We're on a... We're on the ground now. Uh, yeah, we're on a 62% clean, so hopefully it shouldn't be too much to finish this thing off. We have to keep getting stuck on things, which is also uh, a bit of a problem. We have to go for this, I guess it would be the left-hand side of the temple, left-hand side if we're looking from the front of it, where the front door is, which is there. And we are working on the sort of first first floor essentially, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to stand here and hopefully I'll be able to clean these eaves from from this side. Although I have a feeling that we'll have to uh, work down the down the bottom as well. You see, there's loads of bits of dirt that it actually looks fairly clean until you press tab and then you realise, oh yeah, yeah, I've pretty much done a terrible job across uh, the entire thing although a lot of this we didn't really clean it's more of an incidental clean like we just happened to be cleaning this section because of well hitting other things so we've got a lot of a lot of overspray i just realized i'm just standing on the the figurehead there i'm just going to jump down to this section and hopefully we won't fall and we're going to get going to get the roof done because well why not and because we're so close i think we will switch to the standard basic extension Go. And at the top there, and then work down, and obviously we've got the roof, and there's little end caps as well. The majority of this isn't clean because we have to attack it from underneath, and that is fine. We'll do that when we work from the bottom. At least this section here should be the last we have to work up height, so there you are. Should be fine. That's the roof. And we'll go from the other side. And we'll from this. Oh, that's a blue bridge. That's a lot dirty. Quite, quite dirty than I expected. And that is bits that just ain't, ain't clean on that. That's interesting. We're going to have to have a look at that from the other side, I think. One little section. There's our roof done. So let's see from this side. It is. Is it like under there? Yeah. <laughs> in fact, oh, I think that's exactly the same thing we had in the previous episode where we we're cleaning down below and one section wasn't done. I was wondering, why is that not done? And sure enough, as soon as we. Uh, as soon as we like moved uh, and looked up, we could see right underneath that. So yeah, it's just a, a quirk of a quirk of that design. So now that we've cleaned that, we're going to work on this central section. So I'm just uh, again hitting it with the standard standard for me anyway, 15 degree yellow nozzle with the long extension, not the extra long. And I think that would be well unnecessary. And yeah, we'll clean we'll clean here. Actually, it's probably best if we jump down and work on here. A lot of what we're doing now is going to be just flat surfaces with the odd little bit of detail. So we'll do what we can. So there's like the, the buttresses. Do that. It's fine. We'll then do the same over here and then we'll use the ladders. Uh, sorry, we'll use the scaffolding and work on survey. Whatever's necessary. Finish. 
flying through now. That's good. I'm just going to jump off here and... Well, I'm not aiming to clean this thing here. But I'm only doing the sides. <laughs> Look at that there. Oh, interesting, yeah. I, I can hardly see that that was another section because it's it's camouflaged, <laughs> essentially, because it's got all this... It's got the same green colour to it. That wall's not done. I'm going to do this buttress here. The top there is going to be the job for the... Job for the scaffolding, I think. This curves down as well, so we have to be a bit more careful here. See lots of overspray out of that. This is a different material as well. So it's wood, multi purpose, and then stone. And there'll just be a little section here that we'll have to go with the stubby end. Yeah, you see in between there. Lots of little bits that being missed. Alright, we'll clean that. Let's all clean this the stone base while we're here. And put the end here. And there we are, there's that section. Good, we will... Ooh, do we finish off this side? Would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Switch over to our long extension, and then to this one. That's the lever. We'll do the rest of that later on. Let's see, we're focusing on this. On this wall. Which is all done. Simple enough to do and quick enough to do. Already 10% clean there. Wall bits? Are these. Ah, these will jo be joined up to the one on the left. Okay. Be joined up to this, which is why it's saying it's not clean. Makes perfect sense, I guess. So just this big bit of buttress. It's dirty. front does have some nice detail to it. We've got some, looks like to be urns or something on the side. Let's see. Can we get this? Get this spray? It's possible. There's something that we're missing. Because it says it's really dirty. Oh, yeah, it is really dirty. That section there. I completely missed that. There we are. And then we've got this bit and the other one. I'm going to work from... I'll oh, just work from this side, like that. Just so we can get the front of it, for sure. There we go. So we're getting the buttress and we're getting the, the wall as well. With that window, naturally. I must remember to work down to the next level. I have a horrible habit of sticking on one level to try and clean everything and spending more time with the washer when actually it would be best just to go down the previous level and the scaffolding so like there it's best to go down to here and yeah we can always happen with that obviously you have to alter our, our stance as well the wall just needs a little bit more cleaning and done this buttress is cleaned on that side. I guess that's fine. Seventy-three percent for this now. Small section done. Oh, and 
wooden trim as well. Nice. Then I might as well just go down to the bottom. Uh, probably shift this now actually. Put it back here. To then do that side. Yeah. So I think on the other side we got everything to this buttress and then we left this bit that juts out the front for another time. That's probably the last thing I'll clean. And why not? Probably a million reasons why and you can start telling me one or two of them now if you wanted to, but that's where we're going to clean it. I don't know if there's been any other challenges added to the game, whether like challenge maps or anything. there. Yeah, I don't think any of the challenge maps have been added to the game. They're not something I've really attempted, or attempted, I think in any form. It's things like speed runs, like where to, you know, you have to do it in a certain time or get the best time or whatever. And um, water usage, you've only got a certain amount of water and or cleaner I think. But again, I've not attempted them. That's not why I really play this. We have done the I think it's a challenge, it's just, just one of the missions which is standalone, the Mars rover. Which I quite liked actually. Oh, there's lots of tinky things as we did that. Let's go down to another level. This work. Let's put this done. See this level is actually quite nice to clean from here. Yeah, that's good. We are on the home stretch now. The first part of this was very challenging. Very trying as well, to be honest. It's, uh. Yeah. It's been quite difficult to. clean the top of it. What we got there in the end wasn't without its uh, fair share of peril and annoyance, but we got there. There might be better ways to do it, to be honest, but that's the way we attempted it, so that's how it was. Is that done, right? Now? last one there. Yeah, good. Okay, so we've basically got this front bit here. Um, oh yeah, I haven't cleaned that one. No, that's because it's part of the front. And there's this. Alright, oh, also apparently there as well. Nice. Yeah, you see these things when you wander around. Let's just clean this front bit. Um, sorry, the side bit. This one sort of juts out. And I've really attempted this with the scaffold in place, but well, I've shifted it now, haven't I? So we just have to use pressure washer. Let's clean what we can from a distance. All the boards there. That's nice, nice and satisfying there as we work our way down to that. Across that window. I would imagine the natural lighting inside is um, suboptimal. So I thought I'd get the whole thing cleaned off, so there's a twist to give the temple some kind of sacred hose down instead. <laughs> Fair enough. Lying to monks though. A secret little miracle just between the two of us. Alright, okay. We're part of the... We're keeping the secret as well, are we? Apparently so. Apparently so. And... Oh, look at that side there. I'm saying about attacking it at different angles so you get the best cleaning you possibly can. Uh, it's 
to bed. I've missed some craft in the frame. We may have to get the we may have to get the scaffold back. It's probable. down the rest of it. Okay. And yeah, window frame is not completed. I assume it will be because of that little bit that juts out. <laughs> exactly that. Okay, so we will now work under here. Done. Wooden trim. The wall. You see this is a little bit more detailed than the bit we've just done. It's also got a lot more stone involved. See that? Stone carving. It's a pedestal, it says. Yeah, pedestal. Oh, that's it in that side as well. I'm probably up there to jump. Just be careful where we clean. Like that. Alright, so we've got underneath here to do. No, it's already completed now. Good. That bit that juts out there again will probably present us with some present us with some challenges, I think. Try to just pause and that. Window. I think I'll just cut around the frame first. Like that. Breaking one of my own rules, and that's not to attack it frontally. Go work from the side, just a lot better, more efficient. So then, if you're gonna have to attack it from both sides anyway, at least if you're doing like that, you get the majority of it clean. Not all of it clean. Yeah. Window frame isn't done, but I'm guessing it's just yeah. A lot there, a lot in there as well. Go prone, because there'll be bits underneath, yeah, which we've seen. And there's gonna be bits up there which we'll need the scaffold for. What I'll do is I'll clean this wall in this corner post. There's gonna be loads of bits in there, isn't there, that we haven't that we haven't cleaned. And then here as well. I think that's one section. Yeah, that's one section that's it. Corner post. Done. We're on 87% now. Very much on the horn straight. I honestly thought it was going to take a lot longer, but then I based the time off past experience of buildings and also on the time it took to do that peak up there, <laughs> which took us a lot longer than that any right to take us. That in there. That in there, yeah, no dramas. Now get the uh, scaffold back. 
fast. There we are. Good. Right, scaffold. You come here and put it that way. Should be able to do it from the second one. Yeah. And frame. There and there. Simple as that. Simple as that. Good. Right. So, barring any little bits that I've missed, it's simply a matter of cleaning the front. So, we'll work underneath. Obviously, wooden trim, all sorts. It's similar to what we've just done. The big difference is that it's got these here. These. Uh, are those actually what called? The brazier. Yep. Those are those. This wall. Yeah, I only thought it was going to take a lot longer, and that's because when we attempted it before, just go up here. I was looking at the top bit there, and obviously it was a nightmare. But we did, we did struggle on and get that done. And I'm glad we cleaned it from top down. It's just the general. I think it's just the best, you know, best way to do it. I mean, it doesn't matter. The best way to do it is whichever you find the most fun. But I did find that uh, cleaning top down, you get lots of overspray, you get loads of little sections. That's very satisfying doing it like that. <laughs> very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, and we got to a point where it was like, yeah, overspray on the roof and stuff was pretty good. Worked our way through that, and then yeah the point where we are now where we're just cleaning the mainly the flat surfaces here no rust on this one no real difficult caked on stuff but that's sort of understandable considering how this did get dirty obviously there could have been dirt and rust on it before the narrative explora uh, explanation which was yeah a big tornado came and covered it in cow manure I think it was Sorted. A bit more for this to do. There's that all done. And I'm just gonna pick this up and get it shifted. Doesn't mean what doesn't really matter where it goes as long as it's not there. I'm just trying to get the stone base done as well. Could be the majority of it. Gonna actually clean from here first. Okay. A little bit better. This sort of front is the last thing we clean. We're on 94%. Just gonna go up here. Just get the top of that. Just because I need to lose it all. Yeah, lots of thick big wooden beams and huge lumps of stone, although it looks more like concrete than anything else that. It's just a bit too uniform in colour. It's like sort of Norse temple mixed with council estate <laughs> built by the council. <laughs> we want a Norse temple, but we don't want to spend much money. No problem. Got your back, says the uh, <laughs> the civil engineer working for working for money out of a brown bag. <laughs> I'll knock you a plan up, he says. <laughs> I know someone at the builders merchants will sort you out for the materials as well. <laughs> We're on four stars as well, I should point out. So, yeah, almost there now. Almost there. No things to activate in this, unlike the carousel. At least not that I've found. I wonder if there are any other... 
Easter eggs. Like if you spray the spray at a particular piece, it'll turn something on, or there'll be noises or something. It'd be nice if there was lots of those in the map. To, things to find. That'd be a nice little touch, I think. top down but it doesn't really matter. Ding! We'll work on this. This corner post. There it is. And there's that. Alright, last little section now. Of inside. all the hangs to do. But overall it's been a decent map. I've uh, found it quite enjoyable. The hardcore parkour that we had to attempt. Oh this is rusty. <laughs> said oh yeah there's no rust in, uh, in, in the game and yeah look at it rusty. But yeah the hardcore parkour has been somewhat trying. The ladder's obviously getting stuck on things. It's just part of the course with early access. Has been improved, but still doesn't mean it's uh, perfect. Yeah, it's been an interesting map. Quite nice. It says about pedestals, and I've missed apparently some pedestals. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Right. Pedestal is done. Is this one? It's this one. It'll be up here. Yep, yeah, there you go. Just that tiny little bit. And then the door, which, quite frankly, we're getting the cleaner out for. Get rid of all that rust. It's mainly around the hinges. So, from Annie. Goodness me, they said you were the best and now I'm a believer. The temple looks immaculate. That's going to give them such a lift and I can look forward to many, many more years of free labour. <laughs> is that why they wanted us to clean it? So there is our efforts. Roof first, then around the outside. It's actually quite a nice way of cleaning it. It'll go... Yeah, it won't, you won't see much for a while because we're doing the other side. And then there's the front. So thanks again. Level complete. 750 generic runes of currency. 100% clean. Five star rating. Continue. And, oh, it appears to be the end of the cleaning there. That is the last mission. I think, I, yeah, I think I read that there was four that they added. Mayor's Mansion, clean the carousel, clean the drill, clean the temple. So as of the time recording with the version 0.5, that is all we have, especially in the career mode. So overall, pretty happy with that. If, well, if there is another update out before the next episode is due to be released, then I will obviously continue on with that. Otherwise, we will call the series there and pick it up once again once we get some new maps. As for uh, money, we can buy some new, well, buy all the liquids because that's just generally what we do. And we, I guess we could get some different clothing. So you've got the pink gloves there with like a... Was it a happy octopus on it or something? And then there's the custom power wash logo gloves there. We've just gone for the orange as well as the uh, the modifications, which is the uh, 100 industrial red there. You've also got the donut pink and the Prime Vista 3000 ornate. Yeah, so we could pick up other power washes. There's other equipment that we can get as well because, I mean, we haven't even got we haven't even got the medium duty and there's no professional duty yet. So I, I assume that there's going to be a bit of a, a balance pass when it comes to equipment and upgrades and power washes and stuff at some point in the future. But yeah, nothing much for us to purchase. So yeah, we'll leave it there. No specials because we've completed those. That's the Mars Rover. Challenge modes. We're not going to be attempting those. I don't find that to be... Uh, 
a desirable thing at this stage. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Power Wash Simulator, and we will pick it up at some point, TBC, and continue on with the cleaning. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and it's been a chill one for you. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.